I've never been any more happy about a science event ever since um, well ever since ever because I've, I've never really been been happy about science events so what makes this one so very special well there are a lot of people who like to believe but I mean a lot of people, uh, particularly a particular group of Christians, want to believe that there are no such thing as aliens. And that if there is, that they are automatically called demons. Now that's some Christian belief that there are no other life on no other worlds that space does not exist. Well, explain how we revolve around the sun, because the sun does not revolve around us. You do not know that. If you do not know that, then you need to go back to kindergarten, because they teach you about that shit. Well, they teach you about that shit around freaking middle school, so, still, I've been on NASA.com and Space.com, and I'm going to read this number, 713. 715. NASA, with their Kepler mission, announced yesterday that they have discovered, with a telescope, 713 new planets, new worlds, new Earths, I should say. And nearly 95% of those planets are at least smaller than Neptune. Which, get this, is four times the size of the Earth. Now, if you've seen the Lady Man of Steel, The planet Krypton is an Earth like planet, except comic book geeks say that the planet Krypton is five or six times bigger than the Earth. That is why Superman has all those crazy powers because he can uh, he can fly. The oxygen is really, is very different than on, um, from Krypton and Earth. So, so really, we're looking at weight differences for these birds. I guess could be the big issue because we're going to be a lot, I would say, a lot heavier than you would be on the Earth. So it'd be much, much tougher. A mile would be close, would be short. Yeah, a mile would be short, shorter to. Um, No, no, that showed it. They would, they would extend four times. So a mile would be four miles. So a half a mile would be two miles. A quarter of a 
tomorrow would be a lot. If it's four times the size of the earth. If I'm wrong, then what would it be? For you science geeks, that is. So, so they've been working on this for the past four years, longer maybe. Now they have been working on this longer than four years. I mean, it's a telescope in outer space. Like, we're all around our planet. At least a good portion of these planets are in the habitable zone. And what, and what the habitable zone is, is the zone that we're living in, which is perfect for life. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just right. So, my question is, where are we going to go to, to one of these planets? I mean, we got Mars to work on, so maybe you can try to spring that back to life, or if it's trying to spring itself back to life, because you never know. There could still be life living on Mars. We just don't know that yet. But what we do know is that Mars has ice on it. There's no oxygen whatsoever on Mars. So, so if Mars turned itself into a desert planet, and Venus is global warming gone wrong, these planets is going to be our next home, at least within the next 20 or 30 years. And I'm not saying that Venus could still be safe, because it could still be something done to Venus. I mean, Venus could still Control its uh, control its um, weather and whatnot. So if Venus gets itself under control within the next twenty or thirty years, then we're going to have to wait like a couple of centuries, which won't be in my lifetime, but. Um, it will be in another lifetime. Where Venus would finally be habitable for life to exist. So, if we could set up Mars to become a habitable planet, if we could make Mars into a habitable planet, then then I'm sure we could probably make things into a habitable into a habitable planet. Now one of the moons on Jupiter can be considered a habitable moon. And 
some say it's, it's, it's just... It's either just the size of Earth or smaller than the Earth. Just a little small. It's not that big. But, uh, it's bigger than the moon, of course. But some say that it, it has high potential to contain life. So, it'd be pretty cool to live on Jupiter, or live near, right next to Jupiter. Hey, we, we got a, a light source from uh, Jupiter. We got a. Uh, yeah, I, I don't even know if our light source and our heating source could come from Jupiter. I mean, to be honest, Jupiter almost became a second star, which could have been very, very deadly. I mean, two stars in the in the solar system. It could be bad. Not only would the radiation probably kill us, or the explosion, or the heat, or even the cold, because if a second star was in the solar system, we would have been knocked off the off our course by now at least. And we all would have been either bunkered bunk up in a bunker to live for the next hundred or so years until we find another star to uh, circle for who knows how long. I don't know. I, I don't know. But sooner or later, we're going to have to find another planet to live on. It's not going to be now, it, it could be the next hundred or so years. It could be the next century. Who knows? I'm not going to live to see it. But to be honest, if there's a way, I, I'm pretty sure there is a way, but it's like, it's probably like really expensive. But, uh, I wish there was a way for me to like, freeze myself and then see, see the good, very well future. Very good. Because you never know, aliens could, uh, could come and check us out, or aliens could come and try to destroy us, and then we could probably either get our ass kicked and killed, or they kick their ass. Which, you don't know if it can be done, because we've never been in a situation like that. Of course you've seen the movies where all oh, the good guys win, because they had some sort of plan. Well, Aliens do come to attack. Are we, are we really prepared to fight them off? I don't think we are. I, I, I honestly don't think we are ready to fight aliens off. 
I believe the first alien contact that we will see in, in this century, because there has been aliens in the past who has first contacted us, but that was to help out the history, I, I'm assuming. So, then when will we actually see first contact? guess will be sometime in this century, but not sometime in the next couple of years. It would be really surprising to see in the next couple of years, if, or even tomorrow, if aliens decide to come flying down from space and meeting up with whoever and um, there we go, we have first contact, and then we have aliens visiting our world. And then we won't have to call them aliens anymore, we can call them whatever species they are. And they'll help us with uh, whatever. They'll be attacking us, of course, we're probably dead, for sure. But I, I don't really know. What do you guys think that, um, would be our first contact. You guys think that our first contact with aliens would be a friendly gesture or they're going to kill us all kind of thing? Because, like I said, I think there are aliens who know about this race and who know that we're going to be good. We're like a pretty damn good race. So, really, when is first content? That's all I really have for today. That's enough science stuff for now. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.